It's Saturday night, and I'm Pastor Rick. Thanks so much for listening. I hope that this evening's uh, song is a blessing to you. This is the time of the year the Jews celebrate the Day of Atonement. After Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, comes Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, when the Jews will confess their sins. In the Old Testament, it was on this day, the high priest would go into the Holy of Holies, sprinkle the blood of a pure lamb on the mercy seat, the Ark of the Covenant between the cherubim, in behalf of the sins of the people and of his own sins. And then he would lay his hands on a goat, what called the scapegoat, and put the blood on the head of the goat and send it off into the wilderness, signifying that this wonderful truth that Christ would carry our sins away. Praise God. Today there is no temple, there is no Holy of Holies, there is no place where that blood could be sprinkled on the Day of Atonement. But praise God, we don't need one. For Jesus is our High Priest. He's both the priest and the sacrifice, offering his own blood in our behalf. The day that Jesus was crucified, we read that the veil was split from the top to the bottom between the Holy of Holies and the, and the Holy Place, there was now free access, purchased and paid for by the blood of the Lamb of God. Aren't you glad he carried your sins far away? Aren't you glad that he offers forgiveness to all who come? Beautiful, beautiful song, The Unveiled Christ. Once our blessed Christ of beauty was veiled off from human view, but through suffering, death, and sorrow, he has rent the veil in two. Oh, behold this man of sorrows. Yeah. 
is the mighty conqueror. Since he ripped the veil in two. could not go for ourselves. A priest could not do it. All they could do is fulfill a type or a shadow. But you, born to be crucified, came to this earth to do that which we could have never done for ourselves. We thank you, Lord ripping that veil from the top to the bottom, opening the way. We can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Pray, Lord, you'd help us all to approach boldly that throne and know that God's grace is sufficient. Know that the blood of Christ will cleanse from all unrighteousness and that in him, all things are made new. We thank you for that. Bless, Lord, each one that listens this evening. Be with those that are preaching the gospel. Give them thy divine anointing, we pray. And we'll give you honor and glory and praise for the unveiled Christ. In Jesus' name.